Okay, I've made some good progress. Um, first thing I did is uh, on, my, on my front left, um, I had to weld down uh, two little um, hold down straps for my um, brake line, one here and one here. You can see I just did a little bent little piece of sheet metal. I did one spot weld covering this with a uh, leather, um, my sort of leather weld smock. And then, you know, I'm running this. This is still a little bit bent out, but I can't really get that in. And then it comes all the way down. And I've gone up to here with my paint. So I painted um, here where the pedals are. Tried to not get it on the rubber here, but the basic pedal mechanism um, works great and is now painted. It's a little gummed up in there on the spring, but um, I think overall you're not going to... This will have the rubber pads on it. This will have the rubber pad on it. This will all be down in the floor. So you won't really know that. Um, so that is all great. So now my entire front of the um, chassis up to where the seats come is basically done. I, I, uh, I painted this shifter uh, black and I'm going to get this knob um, mounted on there. I got a, 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 a converter that's coming through from a 10 thread to an 8 thread, M8 to a M10. Um, so that is my chassis um, uh, work. Then what I did is I took off bolts, uh, plates here, plate here. I took off this front thing. Obviously they painted uh, over it um, and I took off the mechanism here. and. Uh, you know, I'm going to, you know, wire brush this out and eventually I'll get the inside of this and this thing also uh, painted, but that's the body, body work. I'll probably have to do a little repair on this, where this uh, bumper mount is because there's a little rust here and here. But body is a long ways in the future um, in terms of this main part of the body. Um, next thing I did, I sanded down all my front bumpers. Um, so there was surface rust on them. I sanded it down with, you know, really thick, you know, 40. And I put um, rust reformer on the entire thing. It looks nice and smooth. And that just acts as the first coat of, of uh, primer. Um, I'm gonna leave the bottoms black, but I'll probably put gloss black over this. And then the rest of this is going to get a coat of, I uh, probably get two coats of white primer and then the base coat of um, lotus white it's just because lotus white is expensive and i don't it's going to take more coats to go over the black with uh, lotus white but i have my front left and front right fenders and i think they look great in terms of the smoothness and the shape and so those i will turn them to be uh lotus uh well i'll be able to prime them later today and get them totally white and then uh, I'll go from there. We'll see when I actually do the Lotus White. It'll probably be tomorrow. Um, then I took out my steering since part of what I was doing is preparing that engine under the front bonnet. I took out my uh, my steering. Um, what would you call that? The, the the this is just the tube that the uh, that the steering shaft goes through. So it has this little electrical connector. And it has a kind of a grommet on the other side seal or something like that and then it has this which had a big big rubber thing that i still have uh, and that uh, goes up here and clamps it into place and so i just hit that with the sandpaper and the rust reformer for now um, i think these may get may become either silver white or lotus white i'm going to look up whether this steering tube winds up being silver white like the wheels um, or maybe I'll just do it lotus white like the rest of the interior. So, but overall, I'm very happy with uh, the progress on these front fenders. I said they were um, sitting for a while, so they had surface rust, but the shape of them is really good. Um, the other thing I noticed, because I had some drips, but rust reformer is very thin paint. So it dries, even when you have a drip, it still dries pretty flat. And really what, I'm, what I want is the chemical reaction of the rust reformer onto the little bits of surface rust you can see in there. Like maybe you can see the little 
um, little things there. You just don't want those to start growing and and creeping out and starting to mess up your uh, fender. And so the rust reformer should make all of this dormant um, so that the rust doesn't start coming through. And that just acts as the first coat of paint. Same thing on here, just the rust. I just don't want it to rust. I mean, floor pans, they just rust. So rust reformer, you know, it seems like that would uh, delay the inevitable rusting. Um, all right, well, that's the progress for now. Uh, more later. All right, next step, so I have this deck lid and this guy goes here, but I'm missing the light. So I have the light here and um, I've been trying to figure this out. Um, the light, um, first of all, just in terms of the functionality, um, basically if I touch the, this 12 volt battery to this thing and this thing, right, it works. But if I touch it to this wire in here, it doesn't work. So what that tells me is that whatever this wire is doing here is not, uh, it's not doing the trick. So I don't know what somebody put in this wire here. I don't even know what this little spring mechanism does. Um, should probably look it up. But in any case, it appears as though if I connect the wire to this prong in the middle and then I ground it out. That the light works. So what I'm going to do is just figure out real quick how to get a wire that uh, connects to that. Okay, I took this guy and I used this as like the wire holder and I drilled a little hole you can look really closely there, I soldered in this wire to go onto this back part. Then I took a wire brush, tried to clean this off the best I could. And I uh, took a little mini piece of sandpaper and I just did the contacts on this. So now, I'm trying to think if I, if I put in the uh, put in this bulb now so what I need to do is put in this bulb make sure the contacts are there while wiggling it and now what I want to do is test if I connect this and then I touch this to the to that okay so now I have a working bulb so, great. So what that does now is the bulb, uh, the bulb goes in like this with the wire coming out of this thing. And it slides in. like this and then there's a little mini gasket here this guy and this guy goes around around this thing and then the little screws will go on there that keeps the water, I guess, from getting into the electronics. And this back up here. So let me see if I can find my little um, screws. Let's just test it one more time. I got the wire, and if I ground it, Now it doesn't work. Okay, let's see what happened. So 
this thing on here. This thing on here it works, it seems to work. Seems to be the contact with the ground. Contact with the ground is what is sketchy. So I'll just have to make sure the ground contact is good. The question is on that, is the ground contact going through to these screws and then therefore to the deck lid? Because if that's the case, I have to make sure that this grounds out to the screws. So let's see if it works for, to the screws. We go here and then to the screw. There we go. So it grounds out to the screw here perfectly. And that is what we want. So we're going to be able to see the license plate. Great. So I'll put this guy here and give me one sec to go and grab my um, little screws to get this uh, bolted in and then I'll go ahead and install it on the deck lid. Okay, well, I found the two screws. Um, they are not pretty, but, you know, I just don't care. We're going to use them. So that stretches this little, little gasket thingy. And then I'll just see if I can get these in all the way. Probably need a slightly bigger regular screwdriver to avoid stripping an already stripped screw. But it looks like I may have got it. Oops, I twist the rubber thing too much here. I mean, good enough. Why is this screw so long? Give me a work out of here. Okay, so we got that. My hands are super dirty, so um, let's just test this light one more time. It goes here and grounds on the screw. Damn, it doesn't work anymore. Yep. 
Here we go. Okay. Had to pull it. Maybe that's the contact. Now that seems pretty solid. So I just pulled the light bulb so that it, the little nubs probably hit on the... Okay. So, that is good. Now I have... three washers and three little mini bolts. And so I will put this on here. So first step is to pull this seal kind of over the lip here. Kind of pulls it off the other side, so we get to get the bolts down that way. It'll, it'll stay. Okay. Okay, I got the three bolts in. So it looks basically like this. And that's nice and snug in there. So I'm just going to test one more time the light with the battery. So I just have to connect it to the to the wire and then to the bolt. The bolt underneath here. So let's see, yeah, it's connected to the wire and the bolt. So that's on, off, on, off. Okay, I'm happy with that. Well, looks like I gotta do a little minor adjustment on this to get that to line up right. Okay, got this situated. As a final touch, I put the little grommet in there where the uh, where the wire comes out just to prevent the sheet metal from eventually cutting the wire. And uh, I got this uh, aligned a little bit better all the way around. Um, the last thing I have is the little license plate bracket, which I've just painted black. And I'll go get it and put it on. Okay, here we go. There's the black license plate holder. So when I put a license plate on there, I'll probably put two little rubber nubs on the bottom holes of the license plate and then screw it in on the top. Um, that way it doesn't rattle or scrape. Um, but this thing is, is good. Um, the deck lid handle works great. The hinges are, hinges are all uh, in with the bolts welded in the behind so it should be uh all good to go on installing this deck lid you know whenever uh, <laughs> i get around to it it's gonna be a while but um i really like the way that this turned out with the you know I, i'm lotus white plus black i just think is a great combo so you know whenever i get a chance to do a anything that's going on there looks like I'm sure if that's totally straight but uh, I can always loosen one and it seems like it might be going down a little bit but anyway yeah Lotus white and black I think is a great combo classic for the car so like with this okay